Da -da. So let me get into my proper seating. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I was inspired by uh, the Bit Raider on YouTube. He um, is doing something this year called the Summer Backlog Challenge, which apparently was started a while back by um, Steph's Too Deaf. So it sounds pretty interesting. And basically, you get 10 games. And you decide that you're going to play all of those games and try to beat them, beat all of them before the summer ends. So, I thought I would just show you the ten games that I was going to try to beat. And, uh, yeah, here's the first one. Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. Now, this one, I've already played quite a bit of it, so it's kind of cheap. But I really do want to beat it, and I find, like, a lot of the Crystal Shards are pretty hard to find. So, you know, this could be a bit of a challenge, but I don't think this will take very long to beat. Um, the next one, I actually did try to limit myself to only games that I pretty much have played nothing of or I haven't played at all. So the next one I have not played at all, and that is Shadow of the Colossus. This game, uh, my brother said that it's supposed to be amazing and like one of his favorite games of all time, so, on the PlayStation 2. And, uh, yeah, I really... I'm really excited to play this one. I don't know really how long it is or anything. I don't think it's too long. Um, but I don't really know what to say because I don't know too much about this game. I know you fight the Colossi and it's like an, it's like an action game and that's, you know, basically pretty much it, I think. You, I, there's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. The next is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I've never beaten a Legend of Zelda game. Ever. Like... I have played quite a few of them, but just like tiny bit. I mean like really the smallest bit of them. So Wind Waker, I thought would be a good one to start with because, I don't know, it just looked like something I enjoy. I was also considering Majora's Mask, which I really liked. So, But I decided to go with Wind Waker here on the GameCube. I also forgot to mention, Kirby's going to be good because uh, Kirby's like my probably my favorite series of all time. One of them, definitely out there. Um, next one is one I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I haven't beaten yet because it came out in... Last October, I got it November. I don't know if you can see it in the camera shot, but this is Pokemon X. Um, I was really going to get Pokemon Y. Kind of a somewhat long story of why I got X, but um, yeah, I just got stuck on this one part and I don't know what to do. I feel like it would not take long for me to just figure it out, but um, yeah, I, I do like Pokemon quite a bit, and this game was really fun from what I've played so far, and I feel like I should just buckle down and get this finished. Next is a DS game, Pac-Man World 3. I got this Christmas of 2010, and I still have not beaten it. Still. Like, seriously, I haven't beaten the first level. That's how crazy it is. I don't know. I haven't played it much. Like, I haven't been, like, trying to do it every day. Like, oh, I can't get past the first level. No, I actually played it quite a few times, like, every once in a while. And I just don't really, don't really know what you're supposed to do on the first level. I haven't played it much, though, like I said. Like, I really have not. So this time, I'll just buckle down. And, I mean, it's supposed to be... The Pac-Man World games are supposed to be pretty good. I mean, they're supposed to be good. So, I mean, Namco, they're a good company. They made Tekken as well. Gotta love Tekken. I know I do. Uh, the next is a GameCube game, and I really like this series. Uh, and that is Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Yeah, just making sure I got the name right. I don't, I don't know if it was The Thousand Year Door or A Thousand Year Door. But, um, I played a lot of Super Paper Mario and really liked it. This one I think I prefer, though. I mean, Super Paper Mario is quite unique to the series. You know, it's 2D, and then you can go into the 3D mode, but it uses up your meter. And that was really fun, but, uh, yeah, this game I enjoyed so far. I don't know why I didn't finish it. I really liked it, and, um... I don't have the original Paper Mario or Sticker Star, just the uh, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, and uh, Super Paper Mario, so that should be fun. Uh, next one, uh, my brother also said was really good, and that is Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime is supposed to be amazing, and I did like what I, I did, I like what I played, but I didn't even get past the tutorial. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is this one will be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Next. Now, before I, I go on with this one, a big part of the reason I wanted to play this, I'm pretty sure, was because it has a steel case. And that is Final Fantasy XII on the PS2. Look at this. I mean, it is steel. It is solid. It's, it's nice and cool. And 
it's metallic and shiny and glossy and it's just beautiful. I mean, the, it's the collector's edition, pre-owned from GameStop. Oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm just so excited just because it's the case. But I did like, uh, I did like Final Fantasy XII. I almost said PlayStation XII. That would be weird. Um, so yeah, it'd be fun. But I, I don't know too much about it again. Like I barely, barely played anything of it. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, a different brother has been wanting me to play this for a long time. I've played the beginning, but haven't played much, so that'll be good. Then I can play Kingdom Hearts 2 and Burst by Sleep, whatever. I saw, I saw the Days movie, the Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days or whatever. 358 days over two. Uh, I saw the entire movie of that recently, because um, my brother got the, uh, what's it called? Kingdom Hearts 1.5, and that comes with like all the cinematics of it, so it's like the Kingdom Hearts movie thing, so... Um, then the last one I got here is Spyro the Dragon. I love Spyro, too. Also one of my favorite game series. Um, and this is just the original one. Yeah, this is actually, I'm borrowing this from a friend. So, you know, he doesn't actually have a PlayStation with him right now, like he did, but it's not his house right now. So, you know, just hopefully I can, I can, you know, finish this before he wants it back. So, he, he's, he's in no rush to get it back, but, you know, yeah. So... There you go, guys. That is my entire uh, 10 games I want to play by the end of summer. I, I hope I... Yeah, I said... Yeah, I, I described what the challenge was at the beginning. I was doubting myself for a second. Um, should be fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it or not. Uh, I have a short attention span, uh, so it's good that I've got all these many games. And um, if you have not seen the Bitraider, who is the one who inspired me to do this, I will put a link uh, to his channel in the subscription. And yeah, that is all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.